Avenue Caesar. Morituri te salutant by Mary Hannay Foot. The coup d'etat is blotted out with fresher blood, with blacker crime, as midnight horrors put to rout the vaguer ghosts of twilight time. Greeting from those who are to die. Hail Caesar. Draw the curtains round. In vain. That mournful mocking cry pierces the purple with its sound. And. They who raise it enter too, with spectral looks and noiseless tread, unbidden, hold their dread review, beside the emperor's very bed. They sought in his deserted tent, they found him in the German camp. They tarry till the oil be spent that feeds his life's poor flickering lamp. The hope of France, the gilded youth, so answering the trumpets peal as if revealing how, in sooth, the gilding oft oerlies the steel. Soldiers Algeria's son has spared. Heroes from Russia's fire and frost. Gray veterans, scarred and scanty-haired, who wept at word of eagles lost. Workmen, who leave the rattling looms to ply, perforce, a deadlier trade. Students, who quit their cloudy. Rooms to step within a heavier shade. Slow-breaking hearts that suffer long, blinded and chilled, neath love's eclipse, singing no more the happy song by horror frozen on their lips. From castled cities battleproof, they press to the accusing ranks, from cottage walls, from canvas roof, air passing to the Stygian banks. The thousands famine yet shall waste, the Holocaust disease will claim, as to God's judgment bar they haste, they gaze on him who is to blame. Hail Caesar, while Napoleon's star from yon horizon beams, farewell, setting in exile, where, afar, the children of St. Louis dwell. Come from the past, once dreaded ghosts, whose number and whose names he knew, the future plants, at countless posts, centuries more terrible than you.